thought I'd do a quick sun dappled update on uh, my Skermain search. I was uh, not really mood, in the mood for hotels. Tomorrow marks the seventh day. Will be a week tomorrow that my account was hacked. And um, a good friend of mine was kind enough to report um, that my account had been hacked to Facebook. Uh, obviously, I tried, um, but um, the only way I could report it was using their email address, right? Um, so it was pointless because it's like, oh, this person, this person who used to have the account is saying you've stolen it. Um, have you stolen it? No, it's my account. Oh, all right then. You know what Facebook's like. So my friend reported it. And so I got a message from Facebook um, saying a friend has posted a profile. Um, no, say a friend, one of your Facebook friends reported Carrie Ann Howitt for pretending to be you. And it's like, okay, mm, I'm Carrie Ann Howitt. And then straight away, straight away, the next, bearing in mind, I get a lot of spam in my email address. The next very next email uh hi carrie ann couldn't fucking make it up hi carrie ann we've reviewed the profile that your friend reported and found that it isn't pretending to be you and doesn't go against our community standards if you think we should take another look please reply to this message and let us know so i replied to that message obviously and thankfully, um, I've heard nothing since, um, which I'm hoping means um, that they're doing something. Um, I said in that, you can see that it's my account by my email address. If you take a look, you will see that it was changed on Friday. This is when the person fooled me into handing it over. My email address starts Carrie Ann at... This person who I don't, don't, I know how stupid I am. This person who now has my account, their email starts with s.man. And mine starts with Kerry Ann. And Facebook are saying, uh, basically, no, no, it's s.man. S Obviously, it's Kerry Ann Howitt and you. Carry on. Aunt. <laughs> they didn't steal your account. It's their account. S. Dr. Man is obviously going on now. It's blatantly obvious. So I put at the end, I was a bit sulky. But at the end, kind, re kind regards, carry on how it brackets, you know, like the name of the account. Because <laughs> I'm like, literally, you can't say that. Th no, no, up until for 15 years. This was this was the email address for that account. It got changed on Friday to some S dot man. And no, no, they're obviously Carrie Ann Howitt and you, Carrie Ann at like you <laughs> you're obviously not Carrie Ann. S dot man is Carrie Ann. It rhymes, I guess. Maybe the like literally. So whether that was a stock reply um, and now that I've and that they just send it's like, well, they will just send this out to everybody. And if they reply, then we'll go to the bother of looking at it. I'm hoping that's what's happened. I have a friend, my friend Sharon, said that apparently it takes five days uh, for them to look at it. And this was done on the third. So two days so if you're not counting the weekend, oh, it's the fifth of the fifth, two thousand and twenty-two, five five two two two. Um, so and it's seven minutes past seven. <laughs> five five two 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 seven seven five five two two two. Something angelic in that one, you know, you just know it. Um, but yeah, so we we shall see. But my new account, wow, is that seeing some action. My new account, Kerry-Ann, 
remember Facebook made me remove my hyphen, closed my old account down until I removed it and now I've set up an account with it in and it's allowed so pff, fuck it, I've got it. Um, but the, wow, wow, I thought I'd done really well because I do have... Um, I have a, a, a spare account that I made, Kerry Ann second, um, that I made when I was banned from Facebook because Facebook don't like people telling the truth. Uh, they prefer people like S. Dot Man who scam people. That doesn't go against community standards. Telling the truth does. Go figure. Maybe Elon Musk is gonna buy Elon. <laughs> gonna buy elongated. Musketeer. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe he's going to take it over and let people have free speech. Maybe he's going to let people have free speech on Twitter. I don't care, to be fair. But uh, I thought I got away with it. Because when I, I, I set up Kerry Ann second, um, I got spammed. You know, all the Indians, all the Africans. Boom, poof, like 43. Uh why I'm picking that number out of nowhere, well, I've obviously seen it. But literally, you know, like I had a couple of hundred friend requests from people with no mutuals, Indians and Africans, you know, you know, friendly Nigerian scammers. Uh, people will probably have email addresses that start with S dot man. Or is that being racist? I don't know. But these people, shitloads of Mohammeds in various spellings, uh, Several Usmans. Oh no, this is this account. This one's gone cray cray. Like for three, four hundred. I'd say at least four hundred friend requests I've had from random Indians and Africans. Now, these people and people are, are Mexicans for some reason. Why Mexicans need to scam? I don't know. Um, but and then I, oh, I had one. Going ahead, tangents, mate. Wheelie bins, damn wheelie bins. Um, I had one from a chap who I don't know whether I was friends with him on my old account. He basically uh, is a, a you know, like my kind of guy, does my kind of thing, posts my kind of stuff, that kind of thing. Except it is. Got an email from him today. Hello, how are you doing? I said, fine, thanks, you. So I'm not being rude. I'll, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be kind until it's obvious that you're a scammer. Then I won't. He said, I'm doing great. I saw your name on FSP list. Have you also heard from them yet? This is what S. Man is trying to is doing from my account, by the way. I've had friends come from Instagram and Facebook friends. Like He's trying to do this to he's one of these people whoever's done it to um, Ron Emmerich his name is has been scammed by the same people who've, who've stolen my account as stolen Ron Emmerich's account uh, saw your name on FSP list the amount of these that I've had like literally it's ridiculous how I managed to get scammed by one literally I thought I'd got a good scam door obviously fucking not well I've just too kind for me own fucking good I was asked for help. I gave some help. Didn't realise it weren't it. Should have had my scam door on. Uh, I said, oh, FSP, fuck scamming people, right? He said, it is the new programme called Family Support Programme to help and support full-time or part-time unemployed. With funds, have they contact you? So I'm like, oh, mate, I ain't got time for this fucker. Left it. Hello. So I just replied and said, I'm interested to know, have you ever had anybody actually fall for this? And then it says a contact unsent a message. That's, that's one of my bugbears. People who say of instead of have, bugbear. People, like, you know, you get your little things. It's rise above it, Kevin. Rise above it, that kind of thing. Unsending messages, that's, it, I don't know. And then he said, it's not a joke. I know how you feel. I too was scared when I heard about this until I received the money. Got the English on the fucking geezer. Until I received the money from them. And my friend who told me about it also got 80, 
thousand dollars. Of course I fucking did. So, so you thought, do you know what? You know who needs to know this random middle-aged woman in England needs to know about this. I need to take this bloke's account and let everybody know about this wonderful free money that, that, that people are just giving away for, for 80 grand, mate. 80 fucking grand. They're just giving it away. Quick, let's add everybody we can find. So I just said, do you have any idea how many people are out there? Because I give them, um, let's try and educate them. How many people are out there trying to pull scams like this these days? To you, there's only you and you feel convincing. To us, you're just one in a very long line of idiots trying to pull a shite scam with no merit. I don't know how you people can sleep at night. I really don't. And bugger me if they've not deleted and blocked me. But it was such a... It was free money. Why doesn't he want me to have the free money anymore? Literally, something needs to be done about them. Scammers are just the bane of existence. I um I got rid of my sorry about oh, I've got four, I've been gardening so I've got more fifty pounds of full size. Like I got rid of my home account because of the engines ringing the whole time. Oh, I just want to ask you a, a short lifestyle questionnaire, and they do that because then they sell your details on to people who are actually after selling you something. Um, and I know this to be a fact. Because they got, and this is how part of the reason that I know that scammers on Facebook and things like that will very often use uh, two first names like Mark, Joseph, Benjamin, John, and shit like this because they don't know which way round the names go. And these Indians would in eventually call to me Mrs. Howitt Kerryan, right? And um, so I'd. Just, and I'd be like, yeah, all right then. And went along with it. And then I'd get English people ring me up and going, and you could tell they were reading the piece of paper where they got the lead from, going, is your name Mrs. Is your name Howie Carry Ann? Like, in, and it's like, ah, I know exactly where you got the lead from, from the Indians, the call centres. They'd just ring, literally, they'd ring you up constantly, scamming. Like this, like you, one of my favourites, the people who ring you up and say like, oh, you've been paying, you need to renew your details because you've been paying f to get no scam calls. It's like, I don't know whether they know, they think you're, they're hoping that you're stupid or whether they're stupid or it's a combination of the two. But it's like, literally, if I've been paying to get no scam calls, what do you think I've been doing with my phone this whole year? You realise that I've been answering the phone this year. I've, it's not just no Indian from any scam company anywhere has decided to ring me for a year until you ring me today saying that my money's been lapsed and could I give you my credit card details because then if I pay that I won't get any scam calls. Scam calling me to say give me some money and... I won't scam call you again. Well, no, because you've been... Literally, scammers, mate. Need, something needs to be done about them. Nothing is done about them. I mean, they do have an impact. You know, they fuck with your mental health when they withdraw 15 years' worth of your life, your memories and your fucking friends. Do you know what I mean? I'm stronger than... If I wasn't as strong as I am, it'd have... Mm. I mean, I, I went on a... Like, I drank for three days straight. Not like, you know, like, I can't drink like I used to drink. But I drank for three days straight. I, I bought an amount of alcohol to last me for three days. Um, and drank for three days. Gave myself three days. And then I'm like, right, that's it. Right, that's it. Stop it. Back, back to the drawing board. Um... And uh, 
but during them three days it was you know like i felt myself getting panic attacks well like now like i'm just so fucking depressed and it makes you feel so alone because yeah you know like i'm you know like i'm out there doing this i'm still talking to a mobile phone not a human being and i didn't really speak to human beings when facebook were there but I got, I knew that when I posted something, my mates were replying, I'd got interaction. I've not got that. I've not got the people sharing the memes so I can share the memes. And, oh, that's a thought. That's a friend that I've not added. Um, do you know what I mean? So I've not, I've, I've not got the same, it's just really fucking lonely. The world is really lonely. So I hope that Facebook pull their thumb out of their ass and kick this S dot man to the curb because they should be fucking ashamed of themselves. And it's like, how can you look in the mirror knowing what you're doing? Well, that's it. The stupid people. They must be stupid people. They don't know what they're doing. And it's whilst I am very much a forgive them for their know not what they do kind of person. It's taken a while to work through the demons to let it go and especially while there is the chance there that i could get it back i don't want to let it go so it's like tearing at my soul this i want to forgive the twat because they don't know what they're doing but they know that what they're doing is wrong they've got to know that they have to know that what they're doing is wrong they don't know the psychological implications of what they're doing they're just greedy bastards who need a bit of money. But once we get rid of these people up here, they'll have money. Everybody on the planet will have enough money. You won't need to scam people. We just need to take the trillions, i.e. 90% of the money out of the hands of them bastards. Everybody's going to be fucking cushy, mate. And then I'll forgive them when they pack the fucker in. It's enough rambling for today. Sorry about the uh, sunshine, but there's some sunshine. So I'm going to go get the last 10 minutes of that and I should beat you soon. Wish me luck with Facebook. Love you all. Bye.